Hi, I'm Layson Perkins with Level X Hoops. Welcome to Zone Quick Hitters. On this DVD, I'm going to show you a variety of plays that can be utilized with your team when you face zone defenses. Okay, so here's what you're going to get in this DVD. We're going to show you a variety of plays. Plays to get the ball inside against the zone. Plays to get shooters open against the zone. We're going to show you plays against their specific defenses, the 2-3, the 1-2-2, the 1-3-1, two, two, as well as the wide 1-3-1. I'm also going to show you some baseline out of bounds plays for teams that will either zone the baseline out of bounds or once you throw the ball in, they like to trap it. I'm also going to give you some quick hitters that are designed against boxing one and triangle two. Because sometimes coaches will think, well, I have to run a, a whole separate offense against a boxing one or triangle two. Not necessarily. You can still run your man to man stuff, but this will be some quick hitters that you can utilize to get that best player open looks. If you've been coaching basketball long enough or if you've been around the game, you know that anytime a team sees a zone, they think it's an opportunity to shoot the three-point shot, even if it's a contested three-point shot. Well, these plays are geared towards getting the ball inside and then creating outside opportunities once the defense collapses. Or if you're in a situation where you do need to get a quick three, if you're trailing or you just need, want to get your best shooter open, it's designed to screen the zone so that your shooter does have a good opportunity to get an open look and it's not a forced shot. Now, no matter what type of zone offense that you run, if it's a continuity, if it's a motion, if you're all set plays against the zone, I think there's some things that you really need to consider. And one of the first things that you want to think about is your transition game and beating the zone down the floor. If you can get the ball out and up the floor and get layups against the zone, it just makes it so much easier because now the zone's not set. And in most cases, if your bigs can run the floor, you're posting up a big against a guard. The second thing that you want to think about against the zones is, of course, using ball fakes and pass fakes to get the zone to shift and get it to move. Now, if you're not using a shot clock, one of the things that you can think about is using some sort of false motion or some type of movement to get the zone to shift a couple of times before you move into your quick hitter. Now, obviously, if you have a shot clock, you've got to come down and get a good shot you know, within the time of the shot clock. So you make some adjustments based on the rules. Another thing to think about is screening the zone. Zones are not used to seeing screens either at the top or on the sides. So having plays and having things that screen the zones or screening the zone slides when the ball goes from one side of the floor to the other can be very effective. Okay. In this section, we're going to show you half court plays against a variety of zone defenses. Okay, we're going to start this action out of a 1-3-1 set, and you can utilize this against a 2-3 zone as well as against a 1-2-2 zone. So what we have here is we've got our point guard with the ball, we have two and three on the wings, we have our, our forward here at the high post, and we have our center uh, on the uh, low post. So the action is going to start with one passing here to three, and on that pass, one will fill the opposite corner. Now, as soon as three has the ball and the zone shifted, let's say if it's a let's say it's a, a two-three zone, and maybe the guards come out to get them, or maybe the forward, four is going to come over and immediately screen uh, the top defender in the zone. So three is going to come off this ball screen, looking to either split the the gap here and get into the lane, or, and attack this defender right here in the top of the zone. As that occurs, five is going to flash up here to the mid post area in order to occupy these defenders. Okay, so now three came off the screen here set by four. Now four is going to roll to the basket after setting the screen. Probably not going to be able to hit four in that situation. What, what you're looking for is to get three into the middle of the lane here and try to penetrate the, the gaps of the zone here and get into the lane or even hit five on the flash. Now three can also kick here to two. Now on that kick pass, two immediately looks to swing it here to one. Now once the ball's in the corner now, it's got a flat two three and we'll continue the action. Now, the ball's in the corner, one has the ball here, the zone has shifted, we've got the two, three alignment. If one's not able to pass the ball into five here in the mid post, what's gonna happen is one is gonna dribble up and, and what this is designed to do is to basically pull this defender, who is usually the wing defender in the, the back of the zone, up 
and empty the short corner area back here. And we're gonna utilize a principle called leave and replace. As one leaves this area, four is gonna slide over and replace in the short corner. Three is gonna slide along the, uh, the perimeter here on the three point arc. And one now will turn and look for either four in the short corner or can easily pass the ball here to five in the mid post if he or she is open. And then five can look to hit four stepping to the basket for the layup.